Well, it's a great day to clean up and green up New York City. And that's exactly what some members of our CBS2 news team did this morning. CBS2's Vanessa Murdoch reports on Harlem Grown and our Better Together Project Green initiative. Malabar spinach. <laughs> it is Malabar spinach. It's uh, known mainly in Caribbean dishes. Familiar faces hard at work this morning to prepare this oasis in the middle of Harlem for winter. CBS 2 News showing up for Better Together Project Green, where we not only highlight organizations positively impacting our environment, but get our hands dirty with them. Our friends here still need some growth, hopefully before freeze. This is Harlem Grown's main farm at West 134th Street. This space serves as a respite for the neighborhood, a place to grab fresh produce for free, and an education hub for Harlem youth, teaching them about healthy eating and living an energetic life. We spoke with nine-year-old Jasmine in her favorite space, the free library, tending to the fruits and veggies, one of the many things she accomplishes at the farm. I also teach people how to make food with them and like how to take care of them. Harlem Grown has served Harlem since 2011, taking vacant lots and transforming them. The founder and CEO, Tony Hillary, shares what he experienced when he walked into a Harlem school over 10 years ago. I went into a school that had no art, no music, no gym at the time. You had 400 students. They all qualified for free breakfast, lunch, and supper in school. But over the last decade, we've grown from me and a handful of kids to thousands, 7,000 volunteers, 5,000 children. And the number of sites blossomed too, from 1 to 13. How many different types of fruits and veggies and herbs do you guys grow throughout the 13 spaces? Can you tell me? <laughs> we grow a ton. <laughs> we'll be here for a minute before I give you all of them. Central Farms coordinator Ada Hill says lots of fruit trees and crops that are favored by the community. Up for grabs today, beets, Tuscan kale, Swiss chard, and peppers. From Harlem, Vanessa Murdoch, CBS 2 News.